Okay, I've just uh, drilled a two inch hole in the bottom of my trailer. People don't seem to be drilling a lot of holes lately. So this is, uh, so I put in, once I drilled the hole in, I put in a two inch end pipe, plumbing pipe, PVC. And then this is like a plug I put. And so what's gonna happen is uh, when I'm traveling, the solar panels will be plugged into the front battery, which I will rarely use. It'll just be a backup. And then when I park, uh, this plug will be uh, unscrewed underneath the uh, right bench. And um, the there's a 30 amp plug that will go underneath the trailer through the hole as well and plug into my, my new solar generator, which was lithium polymer ion with a built-in inverter. So one of the things is I wanted to insulate it. So here we have the, the plug. So I've put in this uh, half inch foam. And now I'm going to uh, put this uh, foil here as well. Uh, this is the uh, Reflectix. Uh, basically it's a uh, bubble wrap with uh, reflective uh, foil on each side. And that'll be like a second layer. The same way I built the uh, previous panels for the windows. So I'm just going to glue this. I'm going to use this uh, industrial E6000 uh, stuff. Uh, the plug's in. I'll show this once I put it on. Um, I've already drilled the hole, put the plug in, and uh, siliconed it. And I'm also going to uh, put the pipe. You'll see the hole. I have a few pictures that I'll post as well that will have um, the expanding foam. Uh, basically, you have the subfloor. And once the subfloor is drilled, there's some loose insulation there. Then there's like a uh, kind of like a cloth wrap a couple inches down. So a lot of that insulation comes out and comes loose. So that will seal it up with the expanding foam. And then the next step.